Have you ever wondered about the history behind the breathtaking architecture of the ancient city of Petra? Petra, the fabled rose-red city, was once the thriving capital of the Nabataean kingdom. Carved directly into vibrant red, white, pink, and sandstone cliff faces, the prehistoric Jordanian city of Petra was lost to the Western world for centuries. It's a place shrouded in mystique, its origins trace back to the 4th century BC. Known for its intricate rock-cut architecture and water conduit system, Petra's elaborate structures are a testament to the ingenuity of the Nabataeans. They created this oasis in the desert by establishing an intricate network of dams, canals and reservoirs to manage the seasonal flash floods. This allowed them to create a city that could sustain life in one of the harshest climates in the world. The Nabataeans were a nomadic Bedouin tribe, originating from the Arabian Peninsula. Their skill in agriculture, water management, and iron production led to their prosperity. This, combined with their strategic location at the crossroads of major trading routes, allowed them to control the trade of frankincense, myrrh, and spices between the East and the West. This wealth is reflected in the city's architecture, from the grandeur of the treasury, known locally as al Khazne to the intricate designs of the monastery, or Adir. In the first century AD, Petra was absorbed into the Roman Empire, and its importance began to decline, hastened by the change in trade routes and a devastating earthquake in the fourth century. Despite these changes, the fusion of Nabataean and Greco-Roman architectural styles resulted in a unique blend of East and West, making Petra an extraordinary archaeological site. Today, Petra stands as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and has been recognized as one of the new seven wonders of the world. It continues to captivate visitors with its stunning beauty and historical significance, a testament to the grandeur of the Nabataean civilization. This rose-red city, as it is often called, is a testament to the grandeur of the Nabataean civilization. Imagine a landscape so awe-inspiring it makes you feel like you've stepped onto another planet. As we journey to the heart of Jordan, we find the Wadi Rum Desert, a spectacle of nature's raw, untamed beauty. This majestic desert is a canvas of towering sandstone mountains sculpted by the elements over millennia, creating a breathtaking panorama of unique rock formations. The vast desert plains stretch into the horizon, a testament to the grandeur and solitude of Wadi Rum. But don't let the tranquil stillness fool you. This desert is teeming with life and adventure. From the time-honored tradition of desert camping under a blanket of stars, to thrilling camel treks and jeep tours that traverse the sweeping dunes, Wadi Rum offers an array of experiences that awaken the spirit of exploration. This isn't just a desert, it's a gateway to a journey of discovery, a place where you can lose yourself to find something new. The enchanting beauty of Wadi Rum is a sight to behold and an adventure to undertake. What if I tell you there's a place on earth where you can float without any effort? Welcome to the Dead Sea, the lowest point on Earth, sitting over 400 meters below sea level. This hypersaline water body is a natural wonder that defies the laws of buoyancy. You don't swim here, you float, thanks to the high salt concentration that makes sinking virtually impossible. But the Dead Sea is not just about the unique floating experience, it's also a wellness destination. The sea's mineral-rich mud and water are known for their therapeutic properties, treating conditions from psoriasis to arthritis. People from around the world flock to the surrounding resorts and spas, seeking the health benefits of these natural treatments. Beyond wellness, the Dead Sea region is a place of serene beauty, where the blues of the sea meet the golden tones of the surrounding desert. The Dead Sea, a marvel of nature, offers a unique experience unlike any other craving a glimpse into the grandeur of the Roman Empire. Jerash, one of the best preserved Roman provincial cities in the world, is a time capsule that transports us back to a bygone era. Once a bustling metropolis, the city now lies in ruins, its temples, theaters, and colonnaded streets whispering tales of ancient glory. Imagine walking along the Cardo Maximus, a colonnaded street that once echoed with the bustle of traders and citizens. Picture the grandeur of the Temple of Artemis, dedicated to the patron goddess of the city. Its towering columns a testament to the architectural prowess of the Romans. The two grand theaters of Jerash, the North and South theaters, once resonated with the sounds of music, oratory, and drama. Today, 
They come alive during the annual Jirash Festival, a cultural event that celebrates Jordan's rich heritage and vibrant art scene. Jirash, with its well-preserved ruins, takes us back to the glory days of the Roman Empire. Ever wondered what a city that perfectly blends the ancient and the modern looks like? Welcome to Amman, the capital city of Jordan. This vibrant city is an intriguing mix of old and new, where ancient ruins coexist with contemporary architecture in a captivating dance of time. Amman's architectural landscape is a testament to its rich history and dynamic future. The city's ancient architecture, with its Roman, Byzantine and Islamic influences, stands proudly alongside modern structures. The Roman theater, an impressive relic from the second century, is one of the city's most visited historic sites, while the Amman citadel, perched on a hilltop, offers a glimpse into the city's distant past. But it's not just about the past. Amman's modern architecture is equally captivating. The city's skyline is dotted with high-rises, contemporary art galleries, and cutting-edge design studios. These modern structures reflect the city's evolution and its aspirations for the future. Amman's bustling markets are another fascinating blend of old and new. Traditional souks offer a sensory overload of sights, sounds, and smells. Here you can haggle over spices, antiques, and traditional crafts. But just as stones throw away, you'll find trendy boutiques and luxury malls offering the latest global brands. Beyond the architecture and markets, Amman's historic sites tell stories of civilizations that have come and gone. The Roman theater and the Amman citadel are not just structures of stone and marble. They are narrators of history, each holding countless stories of the city's past. The city's cultural scene is also a blend of the traditional and contemporary, with art galleries, music festivals, and culinary events serving as platforms for both local and international talents. These events not only entertain, but also promote cultural exchange and understanding. Amman, a city that harmoniously merges the old with the new, truly has something for everyone. Whether you're a history buff, an architecture enthusiast, a foodie, or simply a curious traveler, Amman invites you to explore its rich tapestry of experiences. Are you ready to embark on a culinary journey through Jordan? Let's dive into the rich and diverse world of Jordanian cuisine. At the heart of this culinary tradition is mansaf, a hearty dish of lamb cooked in fermented dried yogurt and served over rice. This dish is a staple at celebrations and a true symbol of Jordanian hospitality. Then there's falafel, crispy and golden balls of ground chickpeas, herbs and spices. This street food favorite is often tucked into fluffy pita bread and enjoyed on the go. And let's not forget metze, an array of small dishes like hummus, tabbouleh and stuffed grape leaves meant to be shared and savored. The flavors of Jordanian cuisine are deeply influenced by the Bedouin, Palestinian, and Levantine culinary traditions. Bedouin roots bring forth a love for simple, hearty meals, while Palestinian and Levantine influences introduce an array of spices, herbs, and diverse ingredients. The richness and diversity of Jordanian cuisine reflect the country's vibrant culture and history. How does a small country like Jordan play a significant role in the Middle East? Let's delve into it. Despite its compact size, Jordan's strategic location at the crossroads of Asia, Africa, and Europe amplifies its geopolitical significance in the Middle East. This places Jordan in a unique position, acting as a buffer zone between conflicting powers and often serving as a mediator in regional disputes. Over the years, Jordan has demonstrated a commitment to peace and stability, maintaining cordial relations with neighboring countries, even in the midst of turmoil. This commitment is evident in its peace treaties with Israel and its efforts to facilitate dialogues between conflicting parties in the region. Beyond diplomacy, Jordan's role extends to humanitarian efforts. The country has opened its doors to a significant number of refugees, offering them a safe haven. From the Palestinian exodus of the late 40s to the more recent Syrian crisis, Jordan has consistently stepped up, providing shelter to those fleeing conflict. This small nation has been a refuge for millions, from Palestinians and Iraqis to Syrians and Yemenis. Despite the economic strain and social challenges, Jordan has shown an unwavering commitment to its humanitarian role, earning it international recognition. But the story doesn't end here. Jordan's efforts towards peace and stability extend beyond its borders. The 
country is an active participant in international forums, advocating for a just and comprehensive resolution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. It also works tirelessly to combat extremism and promote a moderate image of Islam. In essence, Jordan's role in the Middle East is multifaceted, ranging from diplomatic to humanitarian. The nation's commitment to peace, stability, and humanitarianism, coupled with its strategic location, allows it to punch above its weight in regional politics. Despite its size, Jordan's strategic location and diplomatic efforts have made it a pivotal player in the Middle East. So never underestimate the power of a small country with a big heart and a strategic location.